Yeah, exciting to be on the cusp of another season. And uh, obviously, it'll be a, a, a different looking team. But um, uh, it's so far been a, a really good preseason. I like the the work rate, um, the commitment to, to learning and change has been significant. And um, most importantly, there's a lot of talent in the gym. So, uh, so it's been good. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad you feel that certain about it. I, I'm not sure I would share that sentiment. I think the, certainly the principles that are driving us are well established now. And I think every year they, uh, they become stronger in terms of the way they're not only adopted, but the way they're lived by our athletes. Um, that being said, the, the goal of, of us is to put a, a team, a system together that best suits the strengths of the, the people that we have. I don't think there's a, a Minnesota way in terms of how we go about siding out. Maybe there is a Minnesota way in terms of how we're trying to conduct ourselves. Um, but uh, we're trying to put the best system together that fits the, the talents of the athletes that we have. So uh, we lost a lot of people that did a lot of things. And, uh, and that's the wonderful thing about college athletics is that every year you've got to come back and put the puzzle together. Uh, same puzzle, but different pieces. And um, we've got a lot of different pieces. So we'll, we'll see how we do with that. Uh, well, again, one of the things I'm, I'm, I guess I'm learning about college athletics is that every year you have this, this space that, that opens up as your senior classes move on. And, um, and it was a great senior class, no question. Um, but the wonderful thing is that that space gets filled and uh, the amount of growth uh, from uh, the uh, juniors now going into their senior year and, and uh, from our underclassmen as they become upperclassmen was significant. So. Um, as I said, you know, we'll, we'll look different, but um, hopefully we'll be able to get production from different people in different ways. Um, yeah, this thing isn't algorithmic, you know. Uh, specifically, we're talking about Alexis. I know she's only going to be a sophomore, but how much are you going to look to her to be a leader for you? Well, yeah, I mean, she's obviously going to uh, have a have an impact and a role on on this team. But um, in terms of leadership, I think that's something that kind of evolves as uh, as things go go forward. So it really depends how, uh, for any of our athletes, how um, secure and how much they trust their own game uh, relative to their ability to, to influence others. We want them to take care of them before they have to worry about taking care of the rest of us. You know, so for Alexis, um, yeah, if, if, uh, if she's firing on all cylinders and things are going well, then I would expect her to try to help those around her, but um, but the most important thing she can do is, is make sure she's doing everything can, she can to help us, and then we'll kind of see what, what leaders evolve from there. Yeah, you probably will lose talent getting the preseason number four spot. That's, first of all, a nice feather in the cap, too, but also what everyone else thinks about this program is going to be like this year. It's not easy. Yeah, we, we had a good uh, incoming class. Uh, it was a nationally ranked uh, recruiting class, I think, was it the fourth in the nation or whatever. And, and again, these rankings don't really mean too much, except people obviously approve of, of what we're trying to do. Um, but I, I, the thing I like most about this class is very talented, um, but also really charactered. You know, they're, they're, they're good across the board, you know, in the classroom, in the community, on the court. And uh, they're the kind of people we want here. Oh yeah, well no, we we're very clear about what what ranking. I mean, it matters. We talk all the time. It matters about the end. It doesn't matter at the beginning. You know, this is all speculative at this point, and um, expectations are a reality, uh, especially with the prevalence of social media and other forms of information that are out there. But at the end of the day, that's generally someone else's stuff. It doesn't have to be your stuff. So we work very hard to define who we're going to be relative to what our goals and hopes and aspirations are, without really taking on other people's stuff. Mm. Despite the fact that uh, a lot of the, the women have moved on from last year, how important is it for the younger women that saw where this team went last year and the year before that to say, it's not a total shock to the system. We might not have been playing as much, but we know what it takes to get there. Yeah, it's a huge deal, no question. The, um, the, the, the results are great, 
but to to win, you got to be good, you got to be healthy, you got to be lucky, and and there's the margins between winning and losing, especially in our league, are really small. So um, to me, the the process becomes the the thing, and um, they absolutely know how hard we worked and and what we do and how we do it, so that we have a chance to maybe replicate some of those results at the end. Oh, no, we put it to bed and it's done, yeah. We haven't thought about that for a while. And that's one of the great reasons about hanging banners and doing stuff uh, in April is that it's closed and it's uh, done and dusted. So, yeah, we we look back on it fondly. Great year, great run. Uh, you know, it stings a little at the end, of course, but, uh, hey, we, we did the best we could and, and the, the group was great. They worked hard and um, we're really proud of what we achieved, but now it's all about 2017 and beyond. I think so, yeah. Reagan is um, uh, a really talented volleyball player, and um, she's made some significant strides over the last year. Um, it, I think it worked out uh, very much a win-win that we were able to redshirt the last year, and, and she's coming in as a redshirt freshman, and we're expecting a great four years from her. Your impression going to uh, Madison and Wisconsin facing North Carolina and Louisville right out of the shoot. Yeah, it'll be a nice test. We'll learn a lot, and that's the goal, really, is – uh, play someone tough right away and, and get the lessons learned and then we get some weeks to try to put things together before we have uh, you know the, the onslaught of the Big Ten. But um, we're excited. It'll be good to get competing. We'll, we'll, by next week, we'll be sick of playing each other. What perhaps do you think uh, you or some of the returners learned most going from last year to this year? Well, <laughs> Probably it's a question more for the athletes. Um, the, the thing that's been great for me is, again, this idea that the, 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 the values and the principles that have been driving this program are being uh, expressed more strongly every year. And, and so, uh, again, perhaps you can speak to them, but it certainly feels like the, um, the degree of commitment to the team and the, the, there's almost a selflessness to this group that, that – um, is is real you know it really is about the team at this point i get it you know right now we're undefeated and no one's been a starter or non-starter or whatever but um there genuinely seems to be this intent to say and do everything they can to help us win the next point and that that's what team sports about it's uh it's not about you getting yours it's about us getting ours and we know that that's tough at times um so that that, that would be the biggest shift for me i think Uh, well, yeah, I mean, who knows? I think the athletes are the ones that interpret it. So it's really, it's just interesting to see it evolve. Hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you.